Hi there. I would like to share my thoughts about world property prices in 2021. A lot of my friends ask if I, I would invest in cryptocurrency, the stock market or property. So I'm going to talk about property because that's something I've been doing for 16 years and I understand the Airbnb market quite well in several uh, countries. Basically what's happened is in the last in the last five or six years where Airbnb has really grown and the major capitals in the, and the sitter, inner city center districts have turned into tourist zones, those, those properties have really gone up and a lot of investors have been looking to buy property in those areas. Now because rents have really gone up there as tourists could pay much higher rental prices or daily, you know, day-to-day -day prices. A lot of the people who lived, who used to live in the city center have moved out to, to outer areas or close to the city or the outskirts. And if we look back uh, last year, 2020, March, April, if, if we look at thousands of listings uh, on Airbnb for inner city district areas, those they were basically from one week to the next there were thousands of listings on uh, on websites where the the flats were for rent for long term and because there were thousands of 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 listings flooded which flooded the market the property prices rental prices have gone down more or less by 20 to to 40% so I, I'm, this is an average of from Budapest to Vienna to Malaga, uh, major um, to Paris. So that we're talking about major European cities uh, and the inner districts of those cities. Okay, so rental prices have, have uh, gone down because there were thousands of, of flats that have been rented out uh, and flooded the market, basically. And also what's very interesting is... People, the people that went out or moved out of this inner city because of the higher rental prices two, three years back, those people are moving back into the city center because of the cheap, the cheaper rental prices. So this is one interesting thing for investors. Um, I would say now is a good time to buy if you can get a 20 or 30% discount uh, because it is e easier to buy now. It is easier to bargain and negotiate and say, well, my return on investment is based on the, the rental price, uh, the rental price of only three, four, five hundred euros, because a lot of cities, the rents have gone uh, down that much, three, four hundred euros per month. So it's, it's easier to negotiate at, at a time like this. What's also very interesting is that there are certain areas or suburbs close to the city center where people have moved out and these suburbs are filled with trees, forests or, 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 or grass, got nice gardens and those suburbs have act actually gone up in value because there were th thousands of families or young professionals who did not want to stay in the city because they're they presume that um, tourists will be coming back within the next one or two, three years after this pandemic is over, uh, more or less, or after more people have been vaccinated. And um, they've actually bought uh, places uh, very close to the city center and places like this have actually gone up. So I recommend investors to look at these suburbs because these places still might go up. Actually, I, I think they will go up even more because um, the tourists, when tourists come back, and I'm, I'm sure they will be, will be coming back uh, pretty soon. When tourists come back, property prices for rentals and for, for sales will go up in the inner city uh, districts. And uh, the people living there, people renting cheap now will, will move out again, move back again to the outer suburb areas making those um, sub suburbs even more popular in, in demand. Okay, so th this, is my, this is my take on, on the global uh, Airbnb markets and global po property markets. Mm, jumping a little bit to the cryptocurrencies, I have a, a billionaire friend in Hungary 
Uh, he said that never keep everything in one basket. He he loves cryptocurrencies. He likes talking about and and he gives uh, presentations on cryptocurrencies. But uh, he says basically, if you can keep seventy percent in property and thirty percent with cryptocurrencies, because there's nothing backing cryptocurrencies. So there's no. Um, it can lose its value by 70%. Bitcoin can, can go down uh, in, in a day by, by 50 or 70%. There's nothing really backing it. Property still has, it, it, it's, it's secure. It might not jump by 20 or 50% within a day, um, but it's, it's very secure and it's not, it's not going to go down 50 or 70% in a day either. So um, properties is, is a much more long-term investment. So um, what my friend says is, is if you do invest in cryptocurrency, always uh, do it for the short term. Try to buy, sell, buy, sell, um, and, and try to invest that in longer term stocks and shares. Um, and, and just, and as I said, not keep everything in, in one basket. Well, that's my take. If you have any questions, any comments, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do a video uh, in, next week. And I wish all of you great investing and a nice balanced uh, life and happiness. Thank you.